Hey guys, how are you doing? This is Panas and I'm back with a new tutorial, or rather the new series of tutorials on development of surfaces of hollow solids. Alright, so we are kicking off this session with development of pyramids and this is going to be the first problem in this series and it goes like this. Draw the development of lateral surface of part P of the square pyramid having base edge 30 mm as shown in the figure below. Alright, so this particular front view has been provided to us and this particular front view corresponds uh, to a square pyramid and we need to draw the top view also and for that let's see the slant edges so this over here is a slant edge this is a slant edge and this is the portion the darkened portion which we need to develop all right so let us create the top view and for that i'm going to delete this dimension right now and uh, slightly below let us say that this is going to be one centimeter 10 millimeters right so this is going to be 30 all right then 30 down below 30 over here to the left and back to where we started so this is what you call the top view of the square pyramid now this particular top view is going to have a center rather than an apex and it should look something like this from the top all right all right okay fine now let us say that this point over here corresponds to point one and let's say this is point two three and four two three and four all right now these are the points uh, when we look at this from the top and this is since this is old ash apex right from the front and its corresponding top is going to be lying somewhere here so this is going to be simply o all right guys now this particular point over here when you look at this object right from the front you're going to initially see at the base point two and behind point two you're looking to have point one so i'm going to write over here two comma rather two dash comma one dash similarly over here we can write this three dash comma four dash three dash comma four dash all right so that was all about the creation of top view and its connection with front view what we're supposed to do is we are supposed to create its development all right of this portion over here okay when you try to unfold a square pyramid and lay it absolutely flat you're going to observe four triangles which are connected to each other through these so-called what do you call this um, slant edges all right now these four triangles are going to be connected to each other with these slant edges all right now first of all we need to figure out as to what the true length of this slant edge is okay now you can clearly see that this is a slant edge over here o3 and its corresponding front view is o dash 3 dash okay so this is also slant edge o dash uh, this is o4 and its corresponding front view is o dash 4 dash but guys what we are interested in is calculating the true or actual length of the slant edge all right just for a while i'm going to shift this slightly towards the left okay right now i'm interested in calculating the actual length of a slant edge all right for that what i'm going to be doing is I'm going to draw a line over here, a horizontal line, absolutely horizontal line. Okay. Now I'm going to rotate this slant edge O3 about the center O. Okay. And I'm going to make it parallel to this XY line. Okay. That's it. Okay. I've not drawn the XY line. Let me draw it immediately. Okay. That's what you call an XY line. Let's say this, this is X over here. And let's just say that this is y all right fine so this over here guys is the new position of point 3 and uh, o3 is absolutely parallel to this xy line okay now let's just for the timing say that this is this over here represents um, 3 1 subscript 1 all right this was 3 and this was this over here was its front view that is 3 dash now 3 has changed its position to 3 1 so its corresponding front view is going to also going to change and it's going to lie somewhere here so this particular point represents 3 subscript 1 dash all right okay now when you join this 3 1 dash with this point over here o dash you're going to have yourselves the true length of the slant edge always guys remember this is a thumb rule as far as pyramid development is concerned okay you need to figure out which slant edges 
parallel to the xy line okay so whichever slant it is parallel its corresponding front view is going to show the true length all right now now the a problem may arise when you cannot see any slant edge parallel to xy in such a case what you need to do is you need to pick up any slant edge from the top view rotate it make it parallel to an xy line then project it in the front view and its corresponding front view is going to show you the true length okay so in over here o dash 31 dash represents the true length all right now let's move for further and i'll try to draw this horizontal line from over here okay all right now let's say the development starts from this point so let us just for now say that this is capital o and we have this true length over here and let us figure out how much this true length is this is going to work out as somewhere around 45.28 all right so right now what i'll be doing is i'll take this guy as center o and take 45.28 as an arc all right i'll try to make an arc okay randomly of any degree all right next thing that i'm i'm going to do is i'll mark this as point 1 all right now the distance from point 1 to point 2 is 30 mm so the next thing to be done is again take one as center and 30 mm that is the actual distance between 1 and 2 as radius i need to cut an arc over here something like this so this over here is going to be my point 2 in the development and then again with 2 as center i need to put an arc once more and this again is going to be 30 mm arc and this over here represents um point 3 something like this all right let's move further let's go for point 4 with 3 as center we can have point 4 30 mm okay and one more from 4 to 1 all right so with 4 as center and 30 mm as as radius i'm going to put one more arc that's it so this um is point 4 yeah all right so we have point 4 with us now the next thing to be done is to 1 2 3 and 4 and 4 to 1 all of them are connected with straight line so let us connect them like this 1 2 2 3 3 4 4 4 and 1 let me name this as 1 all right and let's now join this 1 with o it's a slant edge as i've already told you all these um triangles are connected to each other through slant edges that's it and finally from 2 to 1 All right, guys. Okay, the next thing to be done <coughs> um, is to have these points. Now you can see this this slant edge. It appears as if this slant edge O dash two dash as well as O dash one dash are being intersected by this so called line or a plane. All right, and we can see that this over here intersection point is A dash. Okay, at the front. you're going to have this intersection point a dash at the front okay i'm going to show you its top view also and this is going to be one more intersection point uh, behind this is going to be b dash all right so this intersection point in the top view is going to look something like this uh, please watch carefully so it's going to be something like that's it so that's a intersection point a a or b yes it's a and that's intersection point b all right so let's not worry about this top view let's worry about this development all right so this is how you can prepare at the actual sectional top view of this figure right now we are not interested in preparing the sectional top view we are interested in preparing the development of this lateral surface of part p of this square pyramid okay just like we had this these two points a dash and b dash um similarly we're going to have points c dash and d dash okay so d c dash is a point which is found in this o3 and d dash is a point which is found in o4 all right so okay but a b c and d these are the four intersection points now when you look at these points a dash b dash c dash and d dash let me call them by a b c d all right 
none of these points are lying on the true length so what we need to do is we need to project them in the direction of true length and when you do so it's going to intersect somewhere here now for the timing i'm going to delete this dimension all right and when you project them it's going to end up somewhere here draw a line from this point it should reach somewhere here and so this is the projection of this so called intersection point over the true length all right now same stuff has to be done here also let me extend this in the direction of true length okay fine so that's exactly what was needed now we need to place these points over here also okay so a is a point in this slantage o2 b is a point in this slantage o1 all right so let me see how much this arc is going to be so this is going to work out as 36.22 so 36.22 is an arc for a and b all right 36.22 you guys can take make use of a compass for that this all right 36.22 all right okay that's it now o2 as far as o2 is concerned we'll have point a so here we have it um point a and in o1 we'll have point b something like this and over here also we're going to have point b all right now let's worry about these two guys c and d okay now th their corresponding top views are going to lie somewhere let me show you where um it's going to lie somewhere yeah that's pretty much okay so c and d so c is uh, going to be here c and d is going to be here that's d okay so c is a point on o3 slant edge o3 d is a point on slant edge o4 let's have the arcs c is a point on o3 all right now the arc is going to be same for both of them let us see how much this arc length is okay 16.46 all right all right let me chop off this arc all right so 3 this slant edge o3 slant edge o3 o3 over here has a point c okay so this is going to be point c and obviously the remaining one left is going to be point d slant edge o4 is for point d that's it now we we are going to join all these points in proper sequence and finally we're going to have the development of this hollow pyramid okay and let us do this quickly okay so that's the development of a square pyramid this square pyramid i'm talking about all right guys <clears throat> so guys that was all from my side if you have any doubts any queries feel free to ask write them down in the comment section below okay so this is manas patnaik signing off and if you really like the video guys don't forget to give it a big thumbs up okay it takes a lot of effort to construct and to develop this this sort of content all right so that was all from my side have a great day enjoy and keep drawing